today at Sing of the Song Fest with George Dukas. Peace, y'all. <laughs> so tell us uh, what new projects you have coming up. Um, constantly writing songs. I mean, <laughs> that never stops. And um, rolling around, rolling around with these guys off camera, uh, the band, and um, shows. But of course, I've been in the studio of late working on the, my next EP. Um, my previous one came out a little over a year ago, so it's really high time to get something else out there. We've already released a new single that's um, on the Texas Music Chart right now. Uh, a song called This One's Gonna Hurt. Um, it's in the top 40, and uh, that's kind of in advance of the new EP that's going to come out later this spring. So you've been a very accomplished songwriter. Can you tell us a little bit about um, some of the musicians that you've worked with in the past? Well, and it's cool that you asked the question because <laughs> you mentioned a band that um, that really turned you on to the sort of the Texas music scene, um, the Eli Young band. And um, before I even met those guys, um, they recorded one of my songs on their first sort of you know major label release, mm -hmm. and um, they heard a song of mine. Um, that I had recorded uh, on a record that never came out, that from a Nashville label actually that I was on that went bankrupt. So the label, the song never, the song or the record never, never got put out there. But it was a song called "Always the Love Songs," and somehow wound up in the hands of them, uh, in their in their hands or um, in their producers' hands, and uh, they wound up recording it, um, mm -hmm. and it wound up being their first uh, their first major hit, a top ten song for them, and a top ten song for me as a songwriter. And that was the number one song for Texas music charts in It Golden was. Line, that's what they say. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see that, but that's what I'm told, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a, that's a real honor. Um, it was like the top song played in, in, on, amongst the Texas stations um, for 09. Oh, well, that's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, and a huge, huge accomplishment for them, too. Yeah, I'm real proud of those guys and stay in touch. Yeah. So, so far, what has been the song that you've identified with or maybe that you're most proud of? Uh, I don't know, because like, you can get real, t it's <laughs> funny, you can get caught up in the chart thing and like which songs of yours did well and which ones didn't. I've had one number one so far, it was a song um, called Real Fine, real fine Place to Start, that um, was sung by Sarah Evans um, out of Nashville. And uh, so, I mean, I'm proud of that on one level, but on, on another level, chart position is really just one aspect of this whole thing. And, I mean, my, I think I still haven't written the song that I'm most jacked about yet, yet, you know. I'm always trying to write that song. I mean, there's some on this new record that I'm really stoked about. And um, so, I don't know, it's a constant change. If you ask me one day, it'll be a different answer. Than yeah. The other day. I mean, today, right now, uh, we're about to play for the sake of the song. I'd say the song maybe I'm most pumped about playing. Um, might be Cowtown for for song on the set because I think it's a really you know it's a up tempo thing it's a stomper and people dig it and it's probably <laughs> gonna, probably gonna be the next single um, so you know it's uh, but it, that that answer could be totally different that makes sense makes no sense it makes no sense <laughs> makes sense makes no sense at all great well thanks so much for sitting down with us um, everybody can thanks learn more me. about his music at georgedukas.com and for more interviews news and reviews check out. Good Look me up on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, I want to